from the Staples Center. It is the Kings with Blake and Nordstrom struggling a bit, although Rob Blake did get his 400th point when he assisted on Schneider's first goal. Our congratulations to Rob Blake, and I'm sure there'll be many more to That big cannon he's got from the point. Off the draw, neutral ice. Devils with a 2-1 lead, thanks to the power play. From the near side, Madden flips it around. It's going to be taken back by the Kings. Carlotti in deep. Luke Robitaille flipping it around. Reinprecht. Reinprecht right now second among all rookie scorers to Brad Richards of Tampa. Robitaille in the slot with that pass, and Brodeur has got it. Stick handles it up. Nice play to Turner Stevenson. A rolling puck out of the left side. Drops it back, but it's off the mark. Neutral ice. Devils dump in with Stevenson behind store. Marty Brodeur just showed why he's like a third defenseman out there. He's so good at coming out and playing pucks. Doesn't matter if it's a couple of feet in front of the... He's so confident in his ability to handle the puck. He comes out and he just takes charge out there and throws the puck out of the zone and puts it right on the tape of a forward. Brodeur got a piece of that puck as it was sent in by Johnson from the left side. Join John Butchergrass and Barry Melrose as they run down all the action from around the NHL tonight. But I'm trying to figure this one out. Barry's rotisserie turkey? Not sure what that's about. <laughs> Vino speaks out. I think I know what that's about. And we'll talk about the Senators goalie tandem. All this and more coming your way following our game on ESPN2. For more, log on to ESPN.com. I don't think Barry can cook. No. But L.A. Kings almost uh, cooked the goal. That one got deflected over the glass, but it just about took the head off of Marty Procure, too. Banged off the boards on the left side. McKenzie flips it out. Kings dumping it back in. Icing is the initial call. And it'll be that as Niedermeyer makes the touch. And the icing call comes back the other way. Yes, Niedermeyer back in the lineup after the contract holds out. And boy, are they glad to have him back. This guy is just so much fun to watch. Unbelievable wheels. One of the best skaters in the National Hockey League. Signed a four-year deal. I think he and Jason Arnott were both a little surprised that Lou Lamorello actually budged a little bit when it came to the contract negotiations. And Niedermeyer signed a four-year deal. I know in large part because these last two, the, the one prior to this deal, was a little messy too. Yeah. And, and he doesn't want to go back through it. There's Jason Arnott, feeling pretty good as well. The teammates obviously missed these two guys. And I know Arnott was really struck by uh, the fans. You know, the banner raising ceremony, both these two guys missed it obviously. And the fans were chanting, chanting Jason Arnott's name. He loved it. What a giveaway that was. And Sakura couldn't make the Kings pay for it. Stumble plays it up. Palfi, backhand flip in front, stopped by Marty Brodeur, out of the left point for Nordstrom, 54 is wide. At left, Eliash. Eliash, the leading score for the Devils last year, Rafalski off the stick of Arnott. Ron Blake's there. That was Brian Smolensky who had the good chance there, but he's a right-hand shot playing the left wing, and that time it really hurt him. When he got the deflection, he couldn't get much on it because he was on the backhand side. If he's on the forehand, there's a chance to go up and over Brodeur. Ziggy can't get around Scott Stevens. And you could say that about a lot of NHL forwards. Yeah, I'll say. Gomez lost it. It's played back. Left side, Aki Berg. Carolotti. They've been together now the last eight games as well. Dump in. Off Rafalski stick. Scott Stevens is there. Every year but one in his long NHL career. Stevens has been in the playoffs. 17 of 18 years. Mo Gilman. And as soon as he got there comes back on the two-liner. Let's take another look at that Brian Smolinski chance here. Just a, just a flip pass, and Brian Rafalski forgot about Smolinski. You see Rafalski number 28 one there, uh, 28 white, and he just turned his back, and then later on after that, Ziggy Palfi, one of the best forwards in the NHL against one of the best defensemen in the NHL. Scott Stevens was a little worried there. You could tell by his body language because he didn't have that very good backward speed, and Ziggy was accelerating, but Scott is so good at using that stick and he was able to, well, he knocked the feet out from underneath the policy unintentionally. He didn't get a penalty, but just the, his use of his stick got him back in the play there. Scott Stevens, an 11-time NHL All-Star. Behind the net now, Gomez is there. Off the boards. Whelan took a check. Three. Neutral ice. King send it in off the boards. Kenny Danico. Played in every playoff game the Devils have ever played in. Into the corner. Emerson. Takes a check from Gomez. Bookberger. Gomez in there, stick handling it. 
Sasha Gosh misses it. Looks. Back for Sasha Gosh. 2.20 to go. Opening period. All power play goes. Oh. was waiting. You can hear that one from up here. And it blew about. the gate open, too. The, the gate wasn't latched properly in the penalty box. A really good thing that I think was Breland. That he got just hammered into the boards by Carlotti, and it blew the gate open. Behind the net, it's Danico. Turner Stevenson flipping it off the boards. Matthew Schneider will give it the chase. And as Schneider makes the touch, go all the way back on the icing call. Coming up on our Dodge different intermission, we'll talk Oilers, Senators, Canadians, Thrashers, and Barry and Brian will talk about the Eastern Conference. Not a lot of games going on tonight in the NHL. A very light menu on this Thanksgiving night. <laughs> yeah, light menu of games. Home feasting, that's right. Carlotti came across the ice and just absolutely nailed Breland right at the board, right along the wall there. We'll see, look, we'll see the door fly open. I don't know if you can catch that there. Really fortunate there for New Jersey that uh, Breland didn't get hurt on that. It was a good, clean hit. But I'm telling you, Carlotti came across half the way to put that hit on Breland. He had him lined him up for about six blocks. Madden won that draw from Weinbrecht. Colin White was there. 142 to go in the opening period. Devils lead it 2 1. Schneider fires it in, but there's an offside on the LA Kings. Matthew Schneider back in the lineup again. He missed the night because he had some back spasms. The first game he's missed for the Kings this year. Real good free agent signing for the Kings. Uh, they uh, didn't re sign Gary Galley, and Gary Galley helped on the power play last year. Matthew Schneider has worked the power play no matter what team he's played on pretty well his entire league, his entire time in the league, rather. And he's playing with uh, Vishnu a little bit early on a very good young talented man who speaks absolutely zero english so obviously they're going on hand signs and hockey knowledge there because schneider and vishnowski can't communicate madden sends it out the left point white shot blocker save by store vishnowski off the boards not out of the zone yet and now they move it out kings in the break three on three the drop pass though is given up right to the devils right back by Robitai. flipped up the middle off the corkum touch and it rolls back deep into the king zone. Vishnovsky to Schneider. Coming in, Johnson will try to leave it off at the point, and McKay will clear it. A roller wide of storm. Icing is the indication as it's touched by Schneider. Talking about Lubomir Vishnovsky and his inability to communicate in English yet, he is a slowback and he's done a great job. Well, Andy Murray was telling us a cute story before the game. He said it was the second preseason game of the year. And he said, I like to, you know, communicate with guys and get them pumped up before the game. I talked to three or four guys and I saw Lubomir there and I grabbed him by the shoulder and said, I want you to stay up on the play. You've been playing great right now. Jump up on the play and do whatever. And he just nodded and went, hi. hi. <laughs> I had no idea what the coach was talking about. But Andy did go on and say that when you draw on the board and you talk about hockey plays, he knows exactly what we're talking about. Here's Blake with a wrister, and that one's blocked off the boards. They say Modry has been more of the interpreter. He's scratched for tonight, but he helps Vishnovsky in terms of learning the language. Modry used to be an ex-devil as well. Played up by LaPerrier. Off the boards. Rafalski, first man there, and he's got it. Icing, it'll go back the other way. Rob Blake is a dangerous have to be aware when he's on the ice there's no excuse not to because you know that the kings want to get the puck back to the point to him whenever they can face off the courts are very important andy murray concentrates on that a lot they try to take advantage of it like all teams do right off the face off blake makes a smart play he's so much quicker than he's given credit for blake will take one or two of those big strides and he covers so much ground that was a smart play there he just took the puck deep and got it to the front of the net Three-time All-Star, most goals and points all time on Kings defenseman. Off the draw, Nordstrom, his partner, will take it. Stumble. Right back behind the net, Nordstrom waits. Corkum ran the decoy route. Near side for Blake off the board. Stumple waved at it. Neutralized, bring it over the line. Kings have it, Smolinski off Blake. Five seconds left in the period. Storm makes the touch. The horn sounds ending play in this opening period. 
So, power plays have been the difference in this one. The Devils lead the Kings by the score of 2-1. to one. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone from L.A. Now, let's join our friends in the studio. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. ESPN 2's National Hockey Night is brought to you by Original Coors. When you're an original, you do it your own way. Original Coors. And by Dodge, the official vehicles of the National Hockey League. Dodge, difference. Welcome back, everyone, to Los Angeles. Keeping score with us at home. Make a change. It's not Schneider's goal on the first goal. It is now Luke Robitaille's. Yeah, Luke Robitaille got his stick on that one. He, it was hard, really hard to tell on the one uh, replay. You could look like he did get the shaft of the stick at it. And boy, has he made a living at doing that. Robitaille can get a piece of anything, anywhere, anytime. So Luke will get credit for that first goal of the game. That was a power play, just like all the other ones. Meanwhile, we're going to minus an assist from Rob Blake, so he's still going to be one point away from number 400 because they gave assists to Palfi and to Schneider. That was the change that they made. So next point Rob Blake gets will officially be number 400. Second period. Off the faceoff. Rob Blake will get it at his own blue line. And now right back to Blake it goes. This one lands in the bench area, so it'll face it off again. Let's take a look at the goals that were scored in that first period. It'll be a shot from Matthew Schneider. It'll come from the point right here, and then Luke Robitaille. That's when he got a piece of after Scott Stevens inadvertently put it in his own net. And Sakura will score on this pretty goal. New Jersey so efficient moving the puck out of the zone. Sakura got in behind everybody. That tied it up at one. And then Randy McKay will get a free run right on the edge of the blue face. He gets pushed down, but not before he pushes it in the net. Gomez and Quackham off the draw. It comes all the way back into the double zone for Niedermeyer. Neutral ice. Nordstrom way up. Gambled and lost it. Here's Breland over the line. Fakes the wrist shot. Couldn't get around Rob Blake. And now Breland goes down. Gomez digs it out behind the net. And trying to center it out. It was just taken away from him by Blake. Off Emerson's stick. Blake follows it up. Lead pass brought down. Corkum trying to play it back. He had a chance to shoot that one in himself. Off the boards. Emerson, good hustle. Backhander, tip wide by Booker. He and Broder almost got their skates tied up with one another. Gomez back the other way. In deep. Help up there by Blake. Breland, though, digs it out. No one pressures him. Quick one in front. Glove by Storock. Randy McKay was scored three times against Jamie Storock. Meetings. Well, the tempo in the early stages here pretty good. Some good quickness at both ends of the ice. Marty, Mar Marty Brodeur was banged into and almost turned right around outside the net. We got to add tonight's game to that, obviously. Yeah. So four. He's got the store's number, so it seems McKay coming off shoulder surgery during the offseason. He was in a lot of pain last year and only played in some 67 games. Face off to Storrs right. Carlotti holding on there. Holy digs for it. Taken off the boards. Sent down ice by Johnson. Craig Johnson brings it in. Rister stopped by Brodeur. Johnson behind the net. Sends it for the period. Loose puck in front. And it's taken away by McKay. McKenzie. Played last year with Anaheim and Washington. And Jim McKenzie. On the boards, Kings will dig it out. The Carrier's pass. That was too far off the stick of Grimson. Then off the boards, it comes all the way down ice. Chased by Carlotti. No icing. Carlotti with a flip. And he's breaking it out. Devils leading all the goals coming tonight on the power play. From the far side, it's centered by Spolinski. And now taken back by New Jersey. Coming back, Vishnovsky. Nice pass right side. Big shot going wide of Brodeur. And the Devils break it out. That pass though is blocked. Oh, checked away. Back at the King blue line. Arnett touching it up. Sikor and then Eliash. Flipped in front. Sticked away by Storr. That was well handled by Jamie Storr. That was a tough play. He had to get that and went over into the corner. He couldn't just make a save because if it's laying there, Jersey has players going to the front of the net and they have a chance for a goal and a slam dunk. He did a nice job getting that one over into the corner. Rafalski sent it in, but there's an offside called on New Jersey. Well, one of the toughest customers to play against in the NHL is Ian LaPerriere. I mean, he's just not fun at all. 
He comes out, he's like a whirling dervish. Anytime you leave yourself open, he's bodies, finishes his checks all the time. He gets the elbows up and the sticks. And he got one in the side of the head from Bobby Holik there too. So that's part of his game as well, telling Bobby what he likes and what he doesn't like about him. That's what you're up against every time you play against number 22. And he's had to fight back from major knee surgery. It's a four and a half monster rehab from major knee construction last year. So his uh, preseason was, was pretty light. He took it pretty easy on him, but it looks like he's back in the form now. Speaking of fighting, he led the NHL last year. Majors, that one got through. Jamie Storr lost it. Madden from the near boards. And as hot as for the last eight games, this has not been his night. Yeah, that's just a plain miss. A clear miss from the boards. Uh, Madden just throwing it at the net, hoping that somebody is there for a rebound. And there was no rebound. Ninth goal of the year for John Madden, including four that he had in one game against the Pittsburgh Penguins. And Jamie Storr not looking real sharp at this moment. A very innocent-looking play along the boards. Look at this. He just threw, It did change direction a little bit, but still, it would change direction far enough away that Jamie should have been able to handle that one. He simply didn't have his pads together as it went off uh, the foot of one of the players, the Los Angeles Kings, and now it's 3-1 to lead Devils. Madden from Niedermeyer. So Niedermeyer's on the board again for the second straight night. So now it's a 3-1 game. That one, though, at equal strength. Here are the Devils with, with Niedermeyer. Madden's ninth goal. Eight of them have come on the road, including the goal when he's playing on the left wing. Stevenson battles behind the net. Line practice. Andy Murray told us before he thought his team was rested and ready to go, but they have not played since last Saturday, and they don't appear as eager, let's say, as the Devils who played last night. Well, when you play the night before, your momentum will carry you through in the first half of the game. It's usually and supposedly the rest of the team that takes over in the second half. That remains to be seen. White shot, and Storr stays with that one. There'll be a face-off coming up to Jamie Storr's right side. Let's take a look at the Southwest. Store his legs. I mean, he's in the natural position that most goaltenders are, with their legs a little bit apart, just for balance. He just plain didn't expect that shot to come from the boards and then redirect on top of it. It just plain caught him napping a little bit, and he never squeezed the patch together in time. Storch the workload while Stefan Fischet has been out with a left knee sprain, but Fischet has been practicing, and they yeah. say won't be long. Yeah, that, that's that's real good news because Fischet has twisted his knee in the preseason game, so he hasn't played one game yet. So that's why Jamie Storrs had to play so much. This is a 19th game of the season already for Storrs. Welcome, who was their best faceoff man a year ago, flipped out. It got by Ghosh. Emerson on the run for it. Couldn't quite get to it, but Broder with an active stick knocked it away. All the way back to Ankyberg. The Finnish defenseman plays it left side. Buchberger across Emerson. Sticked away by Broder. That one handcuffed him for a moment. Here's Buchberger around the boards to Emerson. Four players battle for it. No penalty call there. Dug out here is Corkum. Next Coyote out at the right point, Carlotti. At the circle, Kings play it back to Carlotti. Through traffic, it goes wide. Corkum with a touch to Bookburger. They try to cycle. Emerson. And it's picked off by Gomez. He's got some help now from Ken Danico in his 16th year with the Devils. The pass up. Devils controlling it. Neutralized Gomez. Stay outside. Gomez with it on the backhand, flipping it behind Jamie Storr. The near board, Freeland came in, won the puck. Mogil in the centers. Gomez behind the net. Centering pass. Storr blocked out with his stick. Wouldn't let that one go through the crease. Back to New Jersey passing a couple of chances to take shots, especially Scott Gomez. I mean, he was in the prime scoring area there and had a good chance, and he tried to make one extra move. He ended up getting so deep that he could only really flip the backhand on Jamie Storr from a bad angle when he had had that shot really good about 25, 30 feet out in front of him and never took it. Brodeau with a flip. Checkmate along the boards. McKay staying with it. Nine minute. Devils move it out left side. McKenzie lost it. We've got a delay penalty here, and the gloves are off. LaPerrier and White. No punches thrown yet. Just some tugging and holding. Colin White's a lot bigger guy than uh, 
Ian LaPerry areas. He's got a size and strength advantage on him, and it's starting to tell right there. LaPerry are having tied up with both hands, but White got that hand free for a couple of whacks at him. Come on, guys. It's the Perrier had 21 majors. Oh, he doesn't back away from nope. anybody, no matter what size. As they break up, John Butchergrass has an update. Let's go back to the studio. Wild game in Ottawa. A great one between the Oilers and the Senators. 3-2. The Sens are in control. Redden turns it over. And Doug Wade picks up the rebound off the Carter poke. 3-3. Then Wade with the puck to Ryan Smith to Anson Carter. They haven't missed a beat. Greer the empty netter and Edmonton wins. 5-3. How about those Edmonton Oilers? And they have Anson Carter now in that trade yeah. for Billy Guerin. Let's take a look and see how uh, everything got started there in that last altercation between White. Here comes White around the boards. And I talked about Ian LaPerrier a couple of minutes ago. He just finished his check. There was nothing wrong with the check. He gave him a good shot as Colin White was passing the puck up and out of his zone. White didn't like the fact that he took him, so LaPerrier was glad to oblige him. Five minutes for fighting both guys. We've also got a two-minute minor though up on the board for some reason. Let's see. Colin White gets extra two. He gets two for roughing. So he did bring the Perrier into it. So I think that's the right yeah. penalty. So it is going to be a five on four. First three goals tonight came on the power play. You've got Stumble, Palfi, and Robotai with Schneider and Blake at the points now for the Kings. Kings are down by two at home. In the corner to Robitaille, now Stumble will let the team on assists. Near boards, Palfi, who's been quiet so far tonight. Ziggy, out at the right point, holds it. Across the way, Blake, big shot, stick the way. Rob Blake has a cannon, not quite as hard a shot as a player like an Al McInnes, but he's certainly in that neighborhood. Oh, he sure is, and uh, I mentioned earlier, it's just such a heavy shot. I mean, really, it feels like it blows your leg off as it hits you. This one was rolling across to him so, to, so slowly, he almost changed his mind and thought, yeah, okay, I will shoot it. And he got it on target. He keeps it low. And that's the key from shooting from the point. Unless you absolutely know that there's a top corner open and in a certain situations require you to go up. Those shots should be below the knees to give your teammates a chance to get in front of them, to knock them down, get deflections, especially when you have guys like Ziggy Palfi and uh, Luke Robitaille in front of the net. Off the draw. Palfi goes after it. 138 to go and a man advantage for the Kings. He's got five for fighting. Palfi digs it out. Tries to play it out at the point. That one's going to be blocked. Pandolfo picks it up. He and Madden are out there. Madden last year, six shorthanded goals. He's got one so far this year. Now they make a change. Devils will bring out some fresh penalty killers. Schneider. Joseph Stumple. Across the line at center. Now he's hit at the devil line. Robitaille gets it. Danico had lost a stick in the process. He's got it back. Cross ice pass was blocked by the Devils. Picked up though by Palfi and he gave it away. Flipped out of the zone. And Schneider sends it around the boards. Right point for Blake. Left side. Schneider fakes. Tipped in front. Stumple will get it back. Stumple holds in the slot towards Robitaille. Wasn't able to get up a shot. Danico had him smothered. Behind the net. Scott Stevens with a flip off the boards but Blake will keep it in. Alfie, go, go, go. open man, snap a big shot, wow. Back the other way, Devils send it out. That was a great pass from Ziggy Palfi. The Jersey Devils were all over on one side. He fed that pass all the way through to Schneider on the other side. Schneider should just not have missed on that opportunity. It was too good. Robitaille holds. Side of the cage. Kings keeping possession. Back to Robitaille in the circle. And still look for Robitaille. They probably forced that one. Off Blake stick, it comes out. Pandolfo and Madden are back out there for checking as the penalty killers up front. Now the Devils make up changes. They've got a three on two. Niedermeyer is blocked in front. They almost scored short handed. Now, penalty is over. Niedermeyer comes back. Scott Niedermeyer holding it at the circle. Kings put some pressure on, dump it in. Madden, tape to tape. Long one in on store. Smolinski off the boards. That's blocked. Reinfrank sends it the other way. 
Demar now and Rafalski, the defensive pair out there for New Jersey as Gomez behind the net. Scott Gomez only double to play in all 82 games a year ago. Flipping it in towards Breland. That's cut off. Aki Burr around the Dasher. Mo Gilney keeps it alive for Breland. Gomez, good hustle to get it. The side of the net knocked away by line crack. Freeland sets up shot behind the cage, comes back on the forehand, it's deflected away off the glass high. And the Kings just trying to flip it out, that they do. And dumped in. Freeland lost it there, Nelson Emerson. Just to flip back the other way as play gets a bit ragged here, Freeland. Lost the way, off the stick, here's Arnott coming in, broken stick. Finally, it's dropped. Done out there. McGillney still on. Sasha Ghosh tipped in front and score knocked it away. Nordstrom made a heck of a play there on that bouncing puck when he was one-on-one -on -one with uh, Arnett because the defenseman cannot afford to play the puck in that situation. He's got to play the man, and he did against Arnett very well. Corkham going wide and deep. Now to Danico. Dumped in deep behind store. Wisniewski. Left side. Kings break it out. Nice check there from Arnett, who led the team a year ago in hits. Off the boards. Devils may have a check. Side Sakura. Big swapper went wide of Jamie Store. Kings getting caught in a change. And finally, the whistle blows. That means a break for us as well. The Devils have a 3 to 1 lead, but it could be even more were it not for this post. Presented by Toyota. In association with... The stage is set. No one is uh, above the law in this country. This is absolutely cock and bull story. What really is the problem? Can you spell it out in black or white? No, no, no. We have not done Why aren't they doing it? You cannot do this. Catch the top stories of the day and all the drama surrounding them in Star News R. It is Saturday at 10 p.m. only on the Star News Channel. To you by Samsung. Everyone's invited to the Samsung Digital Experience. John Madden was out there killing penalties uh, a few moments ago with Jay Pandolfo. Those two guys work so well together when they're short. Madden's off to a good start. He's got nine goals. There's Pandolfo. He missed about a month because uh, he's had a bad shoulder. He's only played, I think, six games. This is the seventh game of the season so far. They're glad they have him back in the lineup. And those two guys just have excellent chemistry amongst themselves. And you add Turner Stevenson to that line when they are at full strength. And uh, they're flying to play again. And they'll be killing penalties again because as we went to break, the reason for the whistle, too many men on the ice for New Jersey. Larry Robinson was unhappy about that call as we went to break. So it's a power play for the Kings. And they bring it up. Right side. Stumble is free. The wrister stopped by Boudur. Out of the right point. Blake made a good play to keep it. Here is Madden with Pandolfo. He leads it. Tipped away by Jamie Storm. And did you see the touch on that pass by Madden who just feathered that one between the skates of the L.A. King defender? That was beautiful. Mackenzie, by the way, is sitting out the two-minute minor for the Devils. <laughs> 